a gulab jamun a means one contain sugar syrup up to 30% of its volume okay so every single gulab jamun if i take gulab jamun is of this particular shape it's like a cylinder with two hemispheres mm -hmm. now the question is saying gulab jamun is 30 percent filled with syrup okay each gulab jamun and approximately okay. there are 45 gulab jamuns in the jar each shape like cylinder and two hemisphere at the end da 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 they have given the information now 30 percent is consistent no 30 percent of this gulab jamun 30 percent of this 30 percent of this 30 percent of this yes or no yes now let us first of all calculate the volume of one gulab jamun can you calculate volume of one gulab jamun how do we yes. calculate can you tell me how do we calculate volume of one gulab jamun volume of the cylinder plus volume of square very good volume of cylinder plus volume of square how do you get square because Move if i take the these two gulab uh, hemisphere together i will get a sphere got it yes yes so i'm using a word sphere not a circle i'm not drawing <laughs> because it becomes confusing now, please calculate quickly volume of cylinder and volume of sphere. Giving you guys to, or I'll just explain the procedure. You do it yourself. Okay. So this is step number one. Yes. This is volume of one gulab jamun. Okay. Hmm. Then volume of 45 gulab jamun would be 45 multiplied by Volume of volume of one gulab, one gulab. isn't it? Yes. Now question is asking us to find out approximately how much syrup would be found in forty five gulab jamun. So how much is there? Thirty percent. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. So yes. Sugar syrup. In this question, it is uh, in this question it is given the high uh, in the length of uh, full gulab jamun five centimeter. Okay, okay, I'll explain that also. So volume of um, thirty percent of volume of forty five gulab jamun. Got it? Okay. Now um, your concern is one gulab jamun. Is like this. Yes. And they have given the full height. Yes. As five centimeter. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Now try to understand how a hemisphere works. Hemisphere has a center over here. This is called radius. Yes or no? Yes. This is called again radius. Radius. This is called radius. This is also called radius. Yes. All the lines connecting the center are known as radius. Got it? Yes. yes. Now understand this point and apply it over here. So we have a cylinder over here at the center. Now, what is the radius? The diameter is 2.5. 1.4. So instead of thinking radius like this, hmm. this is 1.4, yes or no? Yes. So please don't think like this. Consider radius like this. Okay. This is also 1.4, yes or no? 
Yes. Yes. <laughs> and this is also one point four. And total is five. Yes. So what is the height of the cylinder? Two point two. Five minus two point eight. Two point eight. Two point two. Got it? Yes. So now you will be able to do. Yes. So yeah, I've shown you the working. Please copy this thing. Yes. 